Yeah, I'd start chasing again. Another setup this week, I'll be chasing for the next three days. I'm outside the Oma Road here. Well, actually, I'm on the Oma Road, just outside Oma. A bit of a gamble today. Traffic's loud here. But there's a, over a, a thousand cape today, 800 to a thousand cape in the west of the country from uh, Tyrone right through into Fermanagh and Donegal for the afternoon and evening. Uh, it looks pretty good, plenty of energy, plenty of solar heating, it's warm, it's quite humid. Uh, the skew tees were kind of iffy, some of them were looking pretty good, some of them were showing some saturation issues and maybe capping issues. At the minute there's a cap problem, there's a cell trying to develop here outside Oma. You can see the dark base on it there, it's trying to form precip, but uh, it's still early in the day. Uh, the best energy is in the west, we're going to head uh, into probably Cash, it's a big stopping point. See if anything develops there and under Fermanagh, if not, we'll come back here. Uh, some of the charts were showing 20 or 30 knots of deep layer shear in the evening time, which is quite surprising. I wasn't expecting that, so that's the reason why I'm out today. This very quickly could be a cap bust. Uh, nothing may happen at all. The piece may be far, too far west to chase, but I'm out on the road and anyway, keeping an eye on things. And there's another chance tomorrow in the same area and then in the Midlands on Saturday, so i right, gonna hit the road here and see what else happens. Uh, we're still just outside Oma here. That cell I was looking at is actually producing a big shower at the minute, which is a good sign. Means we're in the unstable air. Things are starting to happen. Precipitation's breaking out. It's been raining for quite a while here, actually. But I just stopped over to get a, a snack, get a burger, top up the energy, and then I'm gonna head to the other side of Oma, into the countryside and the outside of Fermanagh, and get a look at the sky, see if anything's developing out that way. Funnel cloud. No, it's still there. It's dissipating now. What's that mean? It's weakening. Well, I got a shot of it there and it looked better, but uh, I don't know if my autofocus picked up on it. It's dissipating now. It's rain starting again. That's that base we've been watching the whole time there. Uh, it's still there. The funnel's still there. Uh -huh. It's not there. Yeah, it's weakening, but you still see it. Look, it's starting to go down again. Yeah, we intercepted a big storm here. We're about we're miles out to the Oma countryside to the west of Drumquin. Big black base here. I've been chasing it for miles, running crazy roads up and down through forests and hills, trying to get a good vantage point. Just pulled over here. There's an old country house. I uh, heard a rumble of thunder a minute ago. Uh, about an hour earlier, or two o'clock, uh, we got a funnel cloud at Oma right in the middle of the car park built up area but I got a few shots of telephoto lens and it was a small funnel cloud but lasted for about five minutes so that was a good success. Now we're on this new cell right here which is delivered already so I'm on the lookout for more funnels. We've got new convection here in the back. There's thunder again. The back I mean the distance. Yeah storm still going. There's another rumble. It's four rumbles now. And this pulse storm has just pop popped up excuse me. I'm just watching this rain free base out here beyond the wind turbines for funnels. More precipitation breaking out right beside me from that area, so there's several strong updrafts here. The main uh, lightning seems to be up in this area within the precip and away on up. There it is again.
so far it's been a good day. We've got a storm rumbling away here. We've got a small funnel cloud. Nothing overly photogenic, uh, but still a successful day. Time is now actually after four o'clock. Dark couple of hours of uh, the Cape left, maybe even more actually than that. Still watching this base out here. This direction here. Rain free base for funnels. Very warm and humid, love it. Storm still rumbling away. Periodic rumbles. It's quite a good one. Nice and warm and humid out in the beautiful countryside here. Little derelict houses around and cottages. Great part of the country. Storm sitting over here. Most of the funders from this side and side the, the towers and precip. That's the rain free base there. Moving right to left. Uh, I've seen some inflow motion out above those trees there, so I'm still watching for funnel clouds. Still rumbling away. That's a quite nice storm. I don't want to go any further north because there's a forest up here. I don't know the, the area so I could end up diving into a valley or stuck behind the trees and not see the base. So I'm staying here in the meantime until that crosses over and then I'll go after it. The view's good out this direction so it's that base I'm interested in. Precip looks quite strong I see out behind those uh, wind turbines at the back. Right at the back end of the storm, we've repositioned. We're somewhere between uh, Dun Dunquin and Castle Derg in the countryside on a road I've never been on in my life. A whole new flanking line of towers going up behind the cell here. This is extreme wide angle, but they look a lot closer in this good black flat base. Perfect uh, location for funnel clouds. So just sitting here having a brew, uh, waiting on developments to see if anything comes out of this. Can't do much about the power lines in the shop, but the, the countryside's nice and flat. And we've got peace to observe here, which is good. Away in the distance there's a big updraft further west, looks like it's near Donegal somewhere. But uh, developments look good here so far. We've got a new storm, that base turned into a storm, we've been watching this evolve right from the beginning and we have a new storm, big rumble there before we start recording. Strong precipitation core to the left, cells moving right to left, northeast to southwest. We're actually parked on a Road, we're somewhere between Drumquin and Castle Derg. Somewhere in here. A lot of power lines here affecting the field of view, but at least uh, we flat, flat ground here. Here we go. I haven't actually seen any of the lightning today. It must be embedded within the rain or very high up within the updraft, but plenty of thunder. I'm now uh, on the road to beg more stone circles. Our cell just went up here. Had a nice base on it there for a while. So I'm just shooting a wide angle time lapse again. This will probably be my last option of the day. It's getting close to six o'clock. The cape's starting to move southwest and the heating is reducing, but I still have a cell here anyway, so I'm just shooting away here and then I get back 
get everything offloaded, recharge the batteries and out again tomorrow, round two tomorrow. Tomorrow possibly could be even better, there's a trough coming down over the country, but we'll see. But um, happy enough today, nothing overly photogenic, but at least two storms, another cell here and uh, a small falling cloud, that's pretty good. Uh, this is my fifth storm chase within a week. I'm just keeping an eye on the road here, it's quite busy. I just left Mahara and I'm heading into County Tyrone. It's the Oma area as a base of operations. Today we've between 800 and 1000 joules per kilogram of Cape. Lifted index of minus 3, good values, good heating, strong solar heating, humid. Uh, a trough crossing the country which should help with initiation and possible sea breeze conversions which may help with uh, storm development and funnel cloud formation. So any showers or storms which do form will be isolated but strong and could lead to flash flooding. I'm just, uh, roads are crazy here at the minute, I'm really trying to concentrate, I don't know what's going on quite surprisingly busy for a Friday, early in the Friday. The time is 11.38 so I'm making my way southwest now into County Tyrone. The sky is pure blue and sunny. You wouldn't even think there was a chance of storms today if you, if you weren't queued into these sort of things. But the way in the distance to the west and southwest I can see cumulus bubbling up over the hills, a few updraft towers developing, that's the start of it. There already was a thunderstorm down south in Galloway so things have fired early down there. So I'm heading down there, I'm going to watch these cumulus bubble up, watch for funnel clouds, wait for storm initiation and then I'll head off accordingly from there. So it could be in the Oma area, it could be north of it, could be into the Cash, Fermanagh district again. Uh, I'm hooking up with John Fagan in the early afternoon as well, he's leaving around 2.30 so I'll be seeing him sometime after that. Chasing right through into the evening until we get something cool, hopefully we get something photogenic. Should hopefully get more time lapse done. And then there's an hour risk tomorrow on Saturday closer to my home area which is nice so by the time Saturday is done I'll have been chasing six or seven days this week but what a great period of weather honestly it's amazing high pressures four weeks of high pressure hot and sunny every day blue skies sunny is fantastic and then to get an outbreak of heat driven storms to add to the excitement is just phenomenal so it's really been a lovely period so I'm going to make the most of it today and tomorrow Yeah, heading out Tuppermore Road now, it's in Mahara, that's me now. Pure blue skies, some uh, mid-level alto cumulus there in the distance, but mostly blue in a way to my right here to the west, cumulus bubbling up over Glen Chain, and they'll eventually drift down on the sea breeze. There's a sea breeze from the north, northeast direction, and a slack southwesterly flow coming off from the land, so the two will meet somewhere in the west or southwest of the country. That will be the focus point of storms, possible funnels. Uh, the models only tell you so much, you really need to be on location doing a visual watch, so that's what I'm doing now, getting out early, spotting, observing. Yeah, I can see some turkey towers going up there now, or cumulus congestus. So I'm going to shoot vlog today, document what I'm doing. I'll just use my mobile phone here, it's not the best quality in the world, but it'll do, do the job. I hope you can see me here. The camera's just mounted on my mount on the one screen here for for holding my mobile phones aren't actually designed for filament so this will have to make do in the meantime. Yesterday I was in the Oma Fermanagh area chasing again and I actually got two thunderstorms, surface based thunderstorms and a small funnel cloud to the north of Oma near the town so that was pretty cool. Nothing overly photogenic but still great to see so it really validated the trip. Some beautiful countryside around there too. Getting storms over that kind of landscape it's just such a nice experience. All the cows in the fields and the farmers uh, making the hay, the bales out over acres of plains, in plains of fields with the storm clouds sitting over it, really really nice stuff. So I've got my camera, I've got the drone, tripod, all my gears here, 
water, two flasks, some snacks. I'll probably call off the shop somewhere to get something else. I need to keep my sugar levels high today. It's going to take a lot of energy about doing this stuff. Uh, the temperature is now 21 degrees from the van clock. Uh, it'll get warmer in the afternoon. Yeah, the towers are shooting up there to my southwest. They actually look to be in the Tyrone area to where I'm heading, so yeah. They seem to be hitting a cap at them and they're leaning over at an angle. But at least they're going up, that's a good sign. I, I think it won't be long before shards of storms pop, so I'll check in with you later. Alright, confection is now fired. I'm away down the Omer Road here. A lot of tractors in the road here. Holding things up. But, uh, convection fired over the Sparrows, the Glen Sheehan. And it's starting to go down uh, to the southwest in the sea breeze. It's heading my way, it's actually crossing the whole Tyrone area. Big towers away to my right here, bubbling up strong and solid. A few more to the left of frame here, too. So we're building up all, all over the place along this whole line of convergence. So it's going to head straight on down here, get get a bit closer and see what's what's happening. You can see something there to the left. Doesn't look like much in the wide angle, but believe me, they're tall, the naked eye, because they're far away still. There's more out to the right here too, with three or four sails to the right. Okay, I'm away in a back road somewhere. Very hard to get a, even in the middle of the countryside, it's very hard to get a spot to get peace. More traffic and all, but uh, away in the distance there's sails up here popping up big towers. They're far away, way to the north of, of Tyrone. But that's the sea breeze convergence. They're moving up this way, southwest and northeast, but there's a sea breeze coming down that way. They're meeting here and forming. This is the focus point of convection here, uh, cumulus development. So they're slowly bubbling and just in the heat. They seem to be capped at the minute. But uh, at least there's initiation. I'm underneath an updraft here at the minute. They seem to be dry air aloft at the minute. I think the atmosphere is just trying to get started. I think it'll be a couple of hours before we get something good. But I'm scanning the, these young bases now for funnel clouds and watching for any precip breaking out. If needs be, I'll try to cut across cross country and go to the north further up this way. But for the moment, I'm just watching and watching and listening. I can see several low range in the distance under. Several of those bases look like uh, uh, some of it's scud, some of it looks like a funnel trying to form. Have to keep an eye on it. Very far away. You can see that tower there on the, the right going up. It's a new development and into the left as well. It is so, so warm here on a back road here, tarmac road, and the heat's just burning off it. There's no up Black Hog Road here, far above the Cookstown Oma Road, love the countryside, a bit closer to the convection now, it's bubbling up but it seems to have some issues at the moment, a cap is holding it back, so it's not getting as tall as it needs to to become a thunderstorm, the heat is strong, so I need this cap to break, I'm on the biggest one in the area here, you can see the precipitation below it there, so it is producing rain, but not a lot of it. But it needs to pop. There's new towers popping up there to the left. It really wants to do it. Pretty sure I just heard a rumble of thunder there. I'm watching this big tower here going up, but behind me, my other cell I've been watching for half an hour. I got a rumble. Didn't think it was high enough, actually. Struggling with a cap. Definitely heard a rumble out there. Beyond those trees, below that convection, I'm in the 10 millimeter wide angle here to look further away than it actually is. Ok, 
okay, the cabin broke. Just heard an R rumble of thunder there. That's two. It's way off in the distance there, beyond those trees, under the convection. The precip has definitely heard a rumble. Sounds like it's really high up within the cloud tops. I'm quite surprised. I didn't think the clouds were high enough, but one of them updrafts like he's building must have punched through. So, uh, first storm of the day. I put up some fight against that cap too, but it's, at least it's uh, rumbling. Draft behind me seems to be developing too. There's the top of it. It's been struggling with the cap the whole time. Convection seems high base today. So this updraft here going up, and then here's the other one. The actual storm. Doesn't look like much though. Nothing really photogenic, but good to hear the thunder anyway. Just got the first cell of the day and put the target really well. As always, I'm scanning that base. Yeah, huge hard. Nor rumble. Way in the distance there. That's storm one. And that kind of blue sky with that updraft as well is developing nicely. Tops on the way, high up there. This looks like it wants to develop too. So I'm actually between two cells right now. Talk about picking a good position. Only place in the whole, two, in the whole area has two cells. Me right between the two of them. Lucky. Try not to make it too obvious, but there's a car parked on down the road here. It's pulled over, he's watching me. Doesn't know what I'm doing. People are so nosy, honestly, that you can't get peace to watch storms nowadays, even in the countryside. It's parked away down that road. Pulled over, watched me. It's the same car passed me earlier. I stopped away down there, was looking at me, and then drove up and turned around and come back again. Probably, probably someone who lives around here, I'm wondering what the heck I'm doing. Okay, now shooting the time lapse. This storm's rumbling away here. It's not much to look at really, structure wise, but it's a storm and it is rumbling fairly actively. The whole way back. It's some middle of a cloud blocking it here. There's no rumble. It's rumbling away here. This phone might be picking it up. Definitely lightning from way up in the towers high up. Got the tripod set up here in the bonnet. Another rumble. Getting angrier and angrier by the minute. That's rumbling like crazy. I'm on the Black Hog Road here near the old rock road. The storms are rumbling like mad. And louder. I've moved the camera onto the side of the road here. Pity it isn't much to look at, but at least it's rumbling. Back edge of the cumulus field. They're all feeding in here. Convergence meeting. That's the base way out there. There's the precip beyond the van. That's the front end of the convection there. Heading away in there and then towers, there's lightning going on up there, in cloud, way up here.
rumbles away in the distance there. Meanwhile, here we get developments at the back edge of it here. There's more thunder. Actually, I might just time lapse this section here. Yeah, I've got several big cells now. That outflow from that cell seems to trigger more convection. There are more tires there to the left. As I pan up, look how tall they go up. Boom, 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 right overhead. Here, I've got tires right on top of me. Just shooting with a wide angle field, time lapsing. It's quite nice, that. Second storm. The tower originally I was looking at earlier is now a storm. I'm between two thunderstorms right now. Talk about picking the right place in the whole country. Talk about lucky. Wow, look at this convection up here. There's the R1 rumbling away in the distance here still. So that's storm one. New developments here for a second storm right over the top of me. And here's the R1. My god, this is just stunning here. Yeah, it's an update. Still rumbling away. This storm's rumbling away. And the R storm behind me is rumbling away. Right between the two of them. There's a precipitation falling from the updraft here beside me. And up here, the updrafts are hidden now behind the passing cloud, but that's the new cell developing. And there's the old cell, which is rumbling out there. I wished I had a time lapse to get that convection above me there I was showing you earlier. There's the R1 rumbling. Okay, that's the original first storm I've been on. It's still going. I'm just time lapsing it again here. There's nice movement going on when the, the outflow ones are sort of sculpting the clouds, about creating a bit of motion. It's not very photogenic, but I'm shooting it anyway. And then the other guy behind me, he's very active. I'm there. Still. I just got a call from John Fagan. He's actually watching these same storms from Dungannon. You can see the tops on them bubbling up. So he's shooting the time lapse off him from there. Then I'll probably hook up with him later. Yeah, there's a lot of motion going on over here in this one. That's rumbling and that's rumbling at the same time. I'm quite close to the core now, this big one beside me. I can feed the raindrops on me. Oh, 
some weird motion going on here. Look at this area here. It seems to be, I'm trying to murder this. Turning, come back on itself. It was going this way, now it's coming back on itself. That's, this edge here, this cloud here, is moving right to left. The back one's moving left to right. So this area is turning here. Possibly from the outflow ones from the shore, and the rain, or else the convergence again. Star Mime time lapse in here has got very active once again. It's just rumbling like mad. I haven't seen any lightning actually, but I know rightly it's going on way above me here inside the cloud. Got raindrops on me now, I'm going to have to take shelter soon. Oh, just seen a flash. In cloud. <laughs> 